Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fleshman Farm. Today we're going all the way to Binghamton, New York to get ourselves some quail. She's not excited. Nope. Are you excited? I'm pumped. Welcome to the she shed. Right. <laughs> so these are the snowies? No, the, the white one is a splash and the gray and silver ones are the silvers. Those are buttons. How old are they? Those are teenagers. Really? Uh, they are. Yeah, all those are available. I have guinea pigs up there and they range from American all the way up to Teddy's. And a 180 gallon fish tank too. Show the fish tank. You can't miss that. <laughs> with goldfish and koi. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's a chinchilla rabbit down below. Is that one like a chinchilla and a rabbit? Mix. A it's, it's, the, it's the same wow. feel if you feel them. He's the same. Tuxedos? Yes, a tuxedo and pies. Okay. What's a pie? Uh, they're a little different. It's the darker one with the white chest down yeah. here. Yeah, that one's a tuxedo, but that one's a pied right there. There's an egg. Yep. Really? Yep. Yes. You'll wow. probably see a couple of them in there. Um, I'm lucky if they lay about maybe five eggs a day in there's there. There's an egg. Really? Oh, there's an egg yeah. too. Yep. So the Katernix quail or the Japanese quail are the ones that give like an egg a day? Yeah, these guys do. My buttons are pretty good at laying a oh, egg really? a day too. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So where are the Katornix quail? Um, well, they all are. Oh, they all are. Yeah, they're all Katornix fancy quail. Oh. Yeah. And then these guys are goldens. They have a little black to them. And then in the next cage, the darker one is an ivory. And then the other ones are cinnamon. Mm. And then these guys are celadons that lay the blue eggs, which you can see a blue egg in the back. Wow. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's a genetic mutation that humans bred into them. Yeah. There's eggs up in the corner if you want to see them. There's probably about six or seven eggs up in the corner over here just from overnight. It's crazy. Yeah, she walks out of here. Really and believe it or not, I actually have Chinese painted buttons in here too. Jeez. Which are just a tad smaller than regular buttons. Well, they're definitely not too loud. No, they're very quiet. Yeah, they are quiet. All these the birds. males can get a little loud, yeah. but they're really, I don't think they're that loud. My daughters used to sleep in here and we just put this yeah, down yeah, yeah. and there you go. The only time they're loud is when they lay an egg. Pretty much, or unless the males are just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is everything that we have for sale. I, in the first cage, I have little buttons that were on heat, so they're kind of cuddling. To stay warm, which they can't obviously even get out. So you're more than welcome to get in there and take a pick. Are they little? Oh my gosh, they are so incredibly small. Hold this, Noah. What? <laughs> oh, that's... Baby button. So is that it's the noise button, that they like make? Is that the, the... Yeah, that's as loud as they get, is what you wow. just heard. These guys will probably try to jump out. I believe not, I changed them yesterday, but these guys are all ready for grabbing. You can see pides. There's some kind of tuxedos in there. It's kind of a mixed thing. So what's the ratio that you use for males to females? Um, I usually go like about one male up to six female. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, believe it or not, that's what I have down in the bottom. Yeah. I have one which is, where is he? He's over in the corner, way in the back corner, and I have one, two, three, four, right. five females in there. Yeah. So I usually, I can go up to six. That's what, that's what I've heard everything, four to six females to one male is a good, if you're trying for like a fertility. You, you put two males in there, they will literally yeah. fight, rip its head yeah. apart, skin off, eyes, nose, everything, it's horrible. And then my eggs, and then these are the younger ones. 
they try to hop out, so if one does, just grab it. I really ain't that loud. That's not that loud at all. And it's no, a funny it's noise. No one would ever think, oh, they have you, birds. If you close the yeah. door, like if it's in a bedroom closed, like you wouldn't even hear that. Yeah, you wouldn't hear no. this as loud as they go. Yeah. What kind are these? These guys are extreme. The ones I have are harder to find. Yeah. You might be able to find these. The ivory and cinnamon. 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 Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, um, are somewhat hard to find. They aren't too bad. These guys are really hard to find. The splash and the silvers. The pies and tuxedos. A lot of people try to find the tuxedos. Some places you can find them, they're harder to find. Yeah. Especially up in this area. Um, the, everybody is interested in the whole genetic mutation. Because yeah. when you first start out with these, it's, oh my god, it's so cute. Look, yeah. I finally hit my first egg. Oh, it's so exciting. But then you really want to wow, what does this color do with yeah. this color? Yep. And Yeah, and it just starts switching, and it's really cool. Yeah. They're so small, just in your hand, yeah. it feels they like are. you're going to break them. Just yep. holding them, because they're so small. Well, I mean, if you see the difference, I'm grabbing your egg. Yeah, that's nice. Let me grab one of yours. She comes out here with dozens of eggs today. Oh, really? No. Wow. Well, if you see the difference between a corn caturnix, everybody says that different. And a button, that's the huge size difference. Wow. Yeah. Big difference. It's crazy. So, do you like the taste of the eggs? I don't even know if I've ever eaten one, but my really? kids have. Really? Do you like yeah. them? No, I don't think, I don't know. Have you oh. eaten one? My younger kids have. Do they like and them? And they do, yeah. I mean, I made, made one. No, that's not, no. I made. You did quail eggs with uh, her race one time. Okay, maybe I did. But literally, I did one of these, okay, in a little itty bitty frying pan, yeah. a little yeah, itty bitty yeah. flipper, and the whole thing. And my son, want, my younger son, wanted something to eat. So I made one and I put it on a plate with a little itty bitty plate about that big and a little itty bitty fork about that big. Yeah. And I'm like, here you go. And he ate it and he goes, thank you, mom. I loved it. Which was really? so sweet. I know. That's adorable. And I'm like, okay, honey. Kids you, I'm so like, okay, honey, would you like real breakfast now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at it and giggled, but it was so cute. Like the egg was totally about that big. That's popped. insane. It was beautiful. Yeah, there's um the, th what, the what three buttons. Man. The three buttons in there are my holdings because those are tuxedo buttons. Really? Yes. was like he was he was plump he had some good breasts to him and these guys are only about six weeks five, really six weeks old yeah yeah they feel like they feel like little doves all right you ready yeah let's do it all right here you go have fun <laughs> like, nuggets they are they are like little nuggets you're cool yeah that one's gonna be one of your silvers by mm -hmm. the way awesome. yeah yep. It's gonna be one of those. That's, That's your awesome. beautiful tuxedo, yeah. beautiful colors. Yeah. But you're buying so much, I'll get it. I'll get another one eventually. Thank you, I appreciate it. Are even harder. Yeah, they are. Man, they are really like they're so small, and they're little legs. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh huh. There's one down. Get the button. You got him, Emma? No. I don't even know where it went. This is a good experience. Yes, yep. it is. 
<laughs> Very good experience. Where'd he go? I am. I don't know. Is he under the cage? He's right there by the leg of the. Where? Under here. You do? Oh, I see him. I got this. You gotta go. <laughs> Is it easy? That one's feisty. <laughs> they slip right through your I, hands. That's what I'm trying to say. They, they are, they're sulky. I think I did a better job than you. I though. mean, <laughs> I mean, with the adult ones, you'll think you'll have did a better job. <laughs> I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Man. It was nice to meet you. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thanks for your help. All right, everybody. We're driving back from Binghamton, New York. We have a three and a half hour drive. We will get back around nine o'clock. We got how many live birds? I did don't we even get? know. We got, I don't even know how many. About, All I know is we have one in here, and he's my favorite. No, I think we got 30, 30 live birds. And we got 50, 50 eggs. 50 eggs and 30 live birds. But, but, I know that we got, I believe, 10? 10, 10 oh, button quail. 10 button quail plus how many, how many uh, button eggs did we get? 12? 12. 12 of them are button egg, button quail eggs. So, the rest of them, though, are all fancy Caternix quail, which are your pied, tuxedo, silver, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're lot. not very good at knowing all these. Um, a celadon, the celadon is in here. We have one egg, and then we have this celadon. The celadon is one that lays blue eggs, which it's is like, a genetic mutation, yeah. so that's why this is the mutant, and it's my favorite. Yeah. Have a list in the description of all of the all the different breeds and all the different eggs that we got. Just Absolutely. to just to make it easier on everybody because there are a bunch of different breeds. Crystal was very nice and she had a tremendous amount of quail. And she is very su successful with raising the quail up and hatching the eggs and stuff. So and we'll put a list in um, of all of the resources that we used personally. We'll have a list. Um, in the description for the cage and everything. The cage. Um, she has the lady we bought all of our quail from. She has a group actually on Facebook that people will ask her questions specifically about quail because we don't have quail vets. It's not a thing. But she's been raising quail for such a long time. Um, she's done like you know minor surgeries when stuff happens, which it does. Um, so she's super experienced, and we'll have a link to that too down there if you ever would need something. We appreciate you guys sticking along with us, and you know this is—I don't know—this is a fun, fun adventure. We hope to be able to videotape more, and hope that everybody enjoys it. So, like Jeez. Emily always says, "Audi like a belly button." But we'll see you guys when we get home. Bye.